All right, hey guys, what's up? This is a little War thirty five, and today we are back on the Vega conflict, and I got quite a few suggestions from you guys on the last video um, for things that I could do for a challenge. But uh, we're just gonna go over what happened at the base. Obviously, not too much happened. I'm recording a little bit early today, uh, so we're still researching the Xenthium, you know, the huge, doing all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and over here, you might notice that. Our fleets are awful, um, because these fleets are all the ships that are pure cargo and don't have a weapon on it. And you might be wondering why I have fleets like that. Um, and it's because it's our first challenge uh, from the Universal Army. He says, challenge number one, destroy a level 25 base with three ships of your choice, uh, minimal two stars. And I thought I could do this pretty easily after the last performance with the Destiny Cruiser with the Creeper Torpedoes on it. So I decided to do something a little bit maybe more entertaining. We're going to go to uh, random.org and uh, use this to help us determine what ships we are going to use. So we're going to go over here into the fleet bay. We've got our RN Git. <laughs> RN get wreck nub fleet. Uh, it's RNG get in there. Okay, y you guys get it. Whatever. Okay, so anyways, we have one Voyager Corvette. Okay, fantastic. Why does that have a? Oh, I don't even know. So there are some ships that are quite terrible that I could possibly be using in my uh, my basing attempt. Like this one's a decoy. It's got a real gun level 1 on it. And there's some really awful um, longbow destroyers in here. It's it's pretty bad. So we got the old grouping here. Um, we're not going to count recent holes as a, as a selection. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 um, fleets to choose from. And the way it's going to work is we're going to go to the old number generator here. Do 1 through 10. Uh, sorry, 1 through 10. We're going to generate 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ooh, a Talon Frigate. How? What is that? Oh, there's only one Talon Frigate. It is my decoy. My crappy decoy for bases. It's got... I guess that's all right. We need some... Uh, we need some firepower. If we could get a Nexus Destroyer in here, that would be fantastic. The good old number 1 here. Would it be good? But now we only have nine choices because there was only, um, oh, what happened there? Oops. There we go. All right, we've only got nine choices now because there's only one talent frigate, so we're, we're hoping for one here. It's eight. Harrier frigate. All right, we've got a lot of Harrier frigates in here. Let's see. We've got five, ten exactly 10 Harrier Frigates now. It would be bad if we got these ones because uh, they're my decoys for level 27 autos. These aren't too bad. We got the old Thermal Harrier. Um, it was an experimental design. Don't even ask about it. it. It didn't turn out well. But we got 10 choices here. We're hoping for anything that's... We're hoping 1 through 5 here to get a, a decent, at least half decent here. And we get 9. <laughs> Of course we get nine so we'll go ahead and put that on the fleet we're doing pretty well here um, by well I mean awful um, we need some firepower here so oh I don't even know a rank or battleship at this point would be kind of nice uh, Nexus destroyer would be fantastic Exodus cruiser may be something with a little bit of firepower so we're gonna go back into the alt tab check this bad boy out we're gonna go one through nine we're hoping for like a one, a two, a three, a four, or five. One through five. Two. Dest <laughs> Destiny Cruiser. All right, we got three choices here. One has got Creeper 2. These two are the exact same, and this one's got a Diffuser Shield. I don't even know at this point. I don't even think it's going to be possible. Uh, to destroy any self-respecting level 25 base at this point. We got three. Of course, 
We got three. We don't get the recharging shield one. Here is our ultimate basing fleet. We've got a decoy talon frigate to protect our one railgun harrier frigate with some mass this massive firepower. And then over here, we've got our destiny cruiser. If this isn't an R MLG basing fleet, I don't know what is. So we're going to go out into the spaces and find a level 25 base. Nope, that's not going to work. Specifically level 25. I found Kevin. Oh. Okay, guys. We have located a target. Here. Um, I'm hoping this guy's base won't be fantastic. You can generally tell on how experienced a player is by based on the fact that they have fleets guarding their base. That that's usually a usually an indicator of a low level player. But the fact that this guy has fleets guarding his base that aren't actually, you know locked into guarding his base. I mean, they're just sitting out there. They're not actually going to intercept me if I decide to attack his base. So hopefully that's a good indicator of a, a noob level 25 base. <laughs> I don't even... I don't even know. This fleet is garbage. He's got 12 medals for me. Our, okay, RN getting wreck nub is on en route. We're going in for the attack. It's totally gonna work. I don't even know why you're doubting this fleet. Um, it's just fantastic. So, the classic maneuver here, we're just gonna get it in range here. We'll put it right there. Bam. Alright, now we got the old Talon Frigate. We need to decoy it up a little bit here. Go a little bit crazy on the decoy. All right, Creeper, Creeper Destiny Cruiser is inbound. We'll send our Harrier Frigate on its way too. Okay, taking some shots there. That's not good. But we're gonna need to send this good old Talon Frigate in harm's way here a little bit. Wow, that took so much damage. The thermals are real. My goodness, it's taking shots from everywhere. Oh, guys, this is not working. The plan is an absolute failure. I didn't even see that thermal turret over there. Guys, we're taking major hits. <laughs> this is not this is not working. All right. It's the only thing left to do. Okay, we've got it. We've got this. We're just going to do some crazy dodging and strafing here. We got hit. We're done. Nope, not yet. I don't even know how we just exploded there. All right, Harrier. Time to do some work here. Get going, Harrier. You've got the ultimate power. Guys, I don't think this fleet is going to work. It's not cut out for this kind of job. Creeper Torpedoes did some damage there. We're going to go ahead and get the old base going down here. We've got three minutes with one railgun versus a bridge. Being fired upon by stuff. Got to stay out of that stupid thermal range. The thermal range is getting me all the time. That's what really messed me out. I didn't properly scout the thermal range before. Alright, I think ideally we want to take shots from the... <laughs> Who am I kidding? This is not going to work. Go kill me. I'm done. Suicide, this is your only mission now. The only way to go out. Ah, it was a fail. Alright. Iron Get Wreck Nub did not work. It was, it was, it was a fail. One more. One more level 25 to attempt to destroy. 
I mean, keep in mind, we only need a two-star, guys. And this fleet is just not cutting it for the two-star. Oh my goodness, if only I had a sniper capable fleet. This would not this would not be an issue. I could they're all thermals. <laughs> Guys, yeah, this this proves my point that if I could pick any ship I wanted uh for the three star, I think we could handle it, guys. Um but because we could just do my Gladius driver Rancor battleships, three of those and this fleet is this base is done all right i think we got it guys we just have to throw some creepers in that direction and everything will explode that's all we need that's all we need guys there's some creepers in that direction and it will all explode Your order, sir. all right second wave let it begin the ultimate destruction using the best fleet in the world Best fleet ever made. Bam. This should this should be epic, guys. And once this this dude um, destroys this for us, we're gonna go ahead and uh, use him to clean up those because the creeper torpedoes aren't very efficient on single buildings like that, to be honest. They're not very efficient in most circumstances, but you best attack that. No, I saw you about to go into that range. I'm... Okay. See, I told you that would have given me the one star. All right. We go ahead and face them here. Want some shots off. Get some explosions going. First wave of creeper torpedoes on its way. Got this guy doing some work over here. Getting that miner down. Alright. Need to get this one down too. I don't think we're in any danger of getting in any ranges here. Alright. But now what? We're gonna have to get in the range a little bit here. I put strafe on you for a reason. Get to work. At least dodge some. No, it's not going to. Doesn't want to dodge any. Oh, dodge three there. Bam. I'm very efficient at dodging these. Don't even worry about it. Keep firing, Creeper Destiny. The explosions are real. But now what? Alright, we need to get more shots off. Guys, I don't think we have the skill. Why does this thing insist on getting into the range when it doesn't have to? So stupid. Tell it to do one job. Or at least we can dodge some shots out here. Dodge straight into some mines. We're getting the three star, guys. It's gonna happen. There we go. Thermal turret down. Yes. We're dodging more shots here. Crap. Taking too many hits. Need to take a break for a little bit. See if that'll kill that last one there. I think it should.
All right. GG base. It's all over for you now. Got some last ditch effort shots off here. I think it's all over, guys. That's it. That's the creeper torpedo that's going to do it. We're going to get the three star. Boom. Got it. Game over. The three stars on the completely RNG level 25 base. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think that's about it for me. So leave a like if you like, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you in the next video.